to me adds music can't play in the background or mini player unless you pay. People who say please like, comment, and subscribe. Quotes, I'm going to subscribe anyway if I like your content. If you are a game streamer and I just come to your video for help on a certain part of the game, I'm not going to sub to you. Basically, let's talk about tutorial. I'll also link comment if I feel the need. I almost always... Okay, I gotta read because I actually have my glasses on. Um, I just woke it up from my nap. I almost always leave a like or dislike though, depending on the video's usefulness. Clickbait, enough said. <laughs> Think about Stan Lee saying that. I use it just like videos if I see this. Oh yeah, clickbait videos, yes, absolutely. Videos that take forever to get to the point and also overly long intros. Yeah, I actually kind of have a bad habit on that. The comment dislike button not working anymore. Oh yeah, that's right, the thumbs down button when you actually read someone's um, comment in the comment section, of course. It's ironically made the comment section more toxic as bad comments used to get marked as spam, but still viewable. And people commenting, oh, there's actually another point after that. Who's listening in 2035 or something in the comment section for a video? It gets even stupider if it was a hit song from just a few years ago. They're still putting new comments around, which is proof that people are still listening to. And it's even stupider looking if it's a year or two later and creators having to censor words even if they're covering news meanwhile traditional news channels could still cover it and it basically does let you monetize language over pg anymore which is beyond stupid and this whole comment um on this reddit post by matt wolf 96 talked about or express on what do you hate most about youtube and i cannot agree more with him on what he actually said in his comment section. I like to read this stuff because it makes me think, honestly. Um, what's the other thing I need to actually point out? Mr. Beast, get rid of that dirty Sanchez already? Not sure what the heck that is. I don't like Mr. Beast because, he, I don't know, he's just too much. I'm not trying to be rude, of course, because, well, it just seems that YouTube sees him as a deity. He's not. But besides that, I was just actually watching Final Space in the background. Even though Har um, Harley Quinn actually went off the air, that was amazing, though. You know, they did repeat an episode, but I did want to share that because I was watching some episodes um, when I had to get another One Piece episode done because I enjoyed it. And the thing is, is that it took me um, three darn hours or so, and I, I'm not sure Freddy liked my comments on me. Um, you know, just pinning that on the the previous reaction of the episode that I actually shared because um, I just want to address that it takes forever to actually get my videos done, and I know I, I should get I should have get, get straight to the point, but it's just hard for me to actually do that because I cannot think properly if I basically have to do it on YouTube and it gets more frustrating. So I want to do things my own pace. So I do say, Dion, how can you say this? YouTube, okay, I want to make a little update. I enjoy these One Piece reactions. I like doing them. I do. However, though, since my MacBook is really old, it takes eons just to actually get them done. That's why I've been so tired and I actually dozed off because it's just, I don't know. I don't like the processing. Plus, this here, my fan running constantly all the time. It's really tiring. It does give me a headache though. I think that's why, because one, I don't like how my map book is ordered. Two, um, well, it does freeze a lot because I get that annoying spinning, well, they call it the spinning beach ball, but I call it the spinning rail of irritation because basically it doesn't really respond that well. And also having to restart the MacBook and having to download the One Piece episode so that I don't, I don't have to worry about the Crip Town player lagging and the episode freezing every time when I had to do the reaction and basically having to process it on my phone. It, it doesn't seem much, but with the progress I actually have, it takes me forever just to get these videos done. It's tiring, honestly. Otherwise, if I had a MacBook Pro right now, it would probably take me like, maybe, I don't, actually, I don't even know, like an hour or even less, if I'm lucky, just to get like an episode done. I would be able to do like three episodes of One Piece a day, but 
honestly, I'll probably get like two if I'm lucky. Because you talk about like one episode, take you like three to four hours to get done. And if I had to do another one after that, that's like eight hours. So, yeah. Um, that means if I had to do like an episode or a reaction of One Piece um, right now, um, basically it would have been like what? Let's just say 5.30, be working on it to six, give or take, right? It, it took me like a half hour, then editing it, probably be like, not long, like 10 minutes, but of course, like I wait for it to be processed, it's another 10 minutes, and then, you know, just make sure everything goes together, it's like another half hour, and waiting for it to process, it's like another three hours, give or take. So yeah, I had to wait until maybe like nine o'clock just to get it done. This doesn't seem that long, but resting as well. But the reason why I wanna share this, I should put Evie in my, on my shoulder. The reason why I want to share this is because YouTube, my opinion, it can be unfair if you basically are a new creator. I know they say like it's not too late to grow on YouTube, but at times though, it feels like it is. Because from my experience on YouTube, it wasn't that hard as it is eons ago. Like if you actually were able to upload a video, like right now, you can get like a view in 10 minutes without YouTube just basically pressuring this, I hate that word, algorithm on you, that, oh, if you are watching a video long enough, then you're basically more lovable on YouTube than, like, other creators that may be starting off on YouTube and they've got up an audience yet, or a viewership. So, basically, what I hate about YouTube, I have to just show you that, where if y'all, um, basically, if you actually have an audience retention rate, because my channel is not doing that good, even though people have subscribed, However, though, I don't think they happen to enjoy my videos because, like, how am I going to say this? People would skip my videos immediately. And I noticed when I did, like, a reaction of, like, one of those performances from the Tokyo Olympics, only, like, 6% of people watched it, which means, oh, wow, his videos are terrible. He's not getting straight to the point. And, oh, is this a reaction? I'm clicking off. Bye. I'm just thinking those views are meaningless because... I know that seems that seems horrible because they're human beings, they have a living, you know, heart and brain, but the thing is that they don't show it that they're an actual human being because they don't enjoy my videos. You know, I'm sure Freddie might say that your videos are pretty good or whatnot, I think, I don't know, he's a really sweet person, it's just that, you know, I would love to actually have, like, actual people be like, besides Freddie because I don't want him to do all the work, um, you know, that basically enjoy my videos. I think, you know, if I'm sure it's a, you know, they were school, you know, this basically, you know, connecting with me, give or take. It's really, really hard, you know, to grow on YouTube. It is. And just like, you know, it's basically like past five right now. So, yeah, I just got another episode done. I'm going to let this process. I, I That's why I want to say that I don't, I don't want to film anything but One Piece. It's just that... Basically, lately, it's been taking a toll on my mental health, and I just want to make a little update. That is related to One Piece. I really want to, like, upload as many episodes as I can. It's just that with my MacBook, it takes forever. It does. And I just let you know that YouTube is really, really hard. I know I've said this already, because my autism, I tend to repeat my words. But after what I've been showing in the beginning, it's, it's like, what happened to the site? Like, I just want to rant. It's basically as though the big creators... I guess I could, I could put you in now so that he can rest. Um, it's like the bigger creators. No no offense taken, okay? Like PewDiePie or SS Sniper Wolf, for example. They just get so many views on their videos. Even PewDiePie, well, obviously himself, right? Um, they get a lot of views because, well, they got like over 20 plus million subscribers, give or take, and that's great, because they earn it, but it just seems as though, oh, you know what, they were basically gods, that YouTube would, you know, would say, which means, oh, they actually upload a video, which just make sure that they basically get noticed one more than anyone else does. I mean, I know that's the point here, but, like, if you actually have like 20 subscribers, YouTube will probably be thinking, hmm, you're meaningless because you're not getting a lot of views or videos so we'll punish you because well you're a peasant to us because we want basically the money and that's kind of like the point of YouTube it's like as though they want these creators 
that, that are really big already to get even bigger. It's kind of like the old saying, the rich get richer and the poor gets poorer. And it's kind of true because it's like for someone like me that has my YouTube for like a month now. My channel, I don't know if it's doing that good. Okay, I know I'm expecting growth really fast. It's, it's kind of funny because people say, oh, you've only been doing YouTube for a month. That's nothing. Yet again, they say, oh, if you've been doing YouTube for three months, you only got like 150 subscribers. You need to do something better. It's like, like what side do I have to be on? Which means, if you're not getting a lot of subscribers, then you do something wrong. But yet again, they say that, oh, you shouldn't be worrying about it. You're worrying about growing too much. It's hard because you're being pressured by people on this site to basically just being a professional photographer or kind of like being a news anchor. It's all about like this product and whatnot. Like if I can actually dig this deeper, it's like as though you just got to be this not yourself on YouTube anymore. That's why we don't even have the logo broadcast yourself. It's more like business too, so to speak. Like, oh, follow my merch. Or basically, if you actually sign for uh, on this site, you get 20% off a of purchase. Off like, ret, ret, what is that game to call? They always keep spamming. I don't remember that weird computer game, like League of Legends or something. And I just hate how a lot of these creators keep doing that. Like, oh, like, before we actually continue, like in the middle of the video, make sure you actually subscribe or like, which I understand because people tend to forget. I don't know how the hell people can forget. If I feel like I want to subscribe, I will. I don't subscribe to anyone on YouTube, hardly, because I got a good memory on people that I like to watch on YouTube. I don't think that's necessary because I love watching their videos, right? But, I don't know. I just hate how they always have to do this stupid promotion, like, oh, basically, follow my merch, or better yet, smash that like button, or else basically 10 kittens will die. It's so damn dumb. I don't like that. But yeah, that's what I don't like about YouTube that much. Like, it's unfair, because it's as though if you're basically starting off, no one's gonna care. Like, you all have to, you just have to promote, and basically just like, spam, your links on your Insta ill or whatever, I like to say it like that because I hate Instagram and fake book, so to speak, and honestly it's frustrating. Like what happened to YouTube? It's all about buying your merch or making these you know like these um uh, shocking old mouths on your thumbnails and basically having a, a, a picture of like a dead cat like oh you saw a cat um being dead on the road but you won't show it which well, hope to Buddha you don't, but just to get a little example, I've been seeing like people that would like clickbait. And, you know, and not to mention for kid channels as well, which is really out of line, especially for me channels. It's way too damn much. Um, you know, it's it's really hard. I kind of like the hard work because I felt off of that, you know, I would, well, I'm going to say this, like growing up when I was with my nephews and nieces, I probably would you know, just like to make videos with them, but like they're my mind, I be comfortable with it because, oh, I'm exposed to them or whatever, but I, I like to make memories with my nephews and nieces. This is like a long time ago when I started to get more into filming, but it's just whatever. Not like, you know, like inappropriate or anything, just like memories for myself because they're my nephews and nieces, right? And I don't know, I did, I guess in, just to be honest, I do get jealous when it comes to see these big creators of YouTube that are traveling. And basically just like kind of um, like, you know, bragging about how wealthy they are and how they actually make 12k a month, something like that. I don't know, especially like younger creators, I suppose. And just thinking that they're superior. I'm not saying like all um, creators on YouTube are like this that are large. Absolutely not. It's just that I've noticed there's like a little trend that, oh, if you're basically large on YouTube, you might be using that power and thinking that, oh, you're basically just like a god or something. Or, but yet, you're just, I don't know, you're thinking that you're a, a king or a queen. I don't it's hard to explain it. Like, basically, you're just thinking that you're superior than like other creators. That's why I don't really follow large creators. It's just that some of them are a little bit to into themselves, except for like people, let's just say like Optimus, um, that actually talks about news or whatever. I like watching his videos, by the way. You know, he actually does like you know like gaming in the background. I, that's what I like about him because like 
you know, he just talks about running on topic while he plays his games. I like that. I always wanted to do that. You know, people won't, won't be interested. And I can't think of another creator on YouTube that I like. I'm thinking you could say Jarkerfee now. Even though one thing I don't like what he's doing now is just he kind of like really promotes too much. I know he's doing this, you know, this as a business and this actually are mine on YouTube, especially with the demonetization. But I just don't like how when people just like 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 him in the beginning always have to see like Robert merch or something. I don't know. That's just, just me. But other than that, I love his videos. I'm gonna do that. If I was big on YouTube, I wouldn't bother with my merch. It's just so stupid to me. My opinion. Unless you have to. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to just get this off my system. I hope that I'm not rambling too much that you know that YouTube can and I did forget to take a shirt later my hair is growing too much. <laughs> Um, YouTube can be congregated, like a little, you know, like discouraging when you're starting off as a small tuber, basically a creator on YouTube that has a small channel. My, my mouth is so dry because I must have slept with my mouth open. I hate that. That's that's how tired I am. I hate that 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 like you you're thirsty but you're not. It's like that salty type of taste in your mouth. It's gross. But, um, you know, I ate some baked beans, by the way, and I think I got the, grabbed the wrong kind, so that's two dollars wasted, but whatever, I like eating those beans. Um, sorry, but I'm getting off topic. It's just that it does get discouraging. If you want to grow on YouTube and no one pays attention to you, or they dislike your videos constantly, and clicking off, and speaking of the honest retention again, um, you know, I do get envious that people will get like 40%, which means... Their viewers like watching their videos. Well, for me, I'm lucky if you can get like 15%. And I'm thinking like, damn, like no one's watching your videos all the way through. It's hard. Like how the heck do people, like these large creators have people watching their videos all the way through? It's really unfair because it's, it's not as though I don't exist. Or people don't want to have the opportunity to actually get to know me. Because, oh, you know what? He's a small channel. Why should we care? I'm just thinking, okay, what's the, what's the effort of, of uploading you to them? Like, it's too late. It's not too late, though, but it feels that way because you're doing everything you can just to build a community and engaging with people, yet you get ignored. So that's why I kind of do envy, like, those large critters I mentioned and how, you know, the wealthy they are because of all the equipment they have. Well, for me, I'm just stuck with my, an old... I made mean, a nine MacBook that doesn't run that well because it's on 2.3 gigahertz. That's really slow, and just having an S4 phone. This is all I have, but I enjoy this. Even though my phone dies when it's like 40 percent, and my MacBook freezing when I'm in the middle of editing, it does happen every now and then. That's basically hell. So, you know, I mean, it does happen as much. It did happen in the past because I can't even download Chrome anymore. That's how bad my MacBook is. Like, something happened in the motherboard. I don't know. It sucks. I can't check my old bookmarks anymore. Unless I can upgrade to, like, 8 gigabytes of RAM. And maybe that will fix it. I don't know. But, honestly, it's really hard to run YouTube. Especially since I don't really get comments. I mean, okay, I noticed that, like, Derek, for example, one of my other videos that I did comment when my brother actually, you know, got his first car, and he did. That's awesome. Um, basically, I appreciate that. And also, Freddie, for which you got to me, it's just that, you know, it, it, just, it would be nice to actually have more people besides those two having to comment on everything. And I don't want them to be forced to, to comment. But I'm guessing, just like, you know, I do feel, how am I going to say, isolated on YouTube. I don't like looking at these big creators because, oh, they got such an engaging community, and I don't have that yet. I know I'm spending like in one month, but there, there'd be some creators that would get like 5,000 subscribers on, on one month, and I'm thinking, how the heck do you get like, basically, um, what? 15 times as much growth as I do. Like, I'm thinking like, how do you do it? I think it's 50 times. I'm not sure I did the math. But, yeah, I mean, from 50 to 5,000, yeah. Uh, that's quite a big gap. I'm mean, hell, even from 50 to 500, that's like a 10% gap. I don't know. 10 times as much, my opinion. So I guess that would be... Okay, that's 50. But yeah, it's, it's, it's just so hard to actually grow on YouTube because, well, you just feel like you don't exist. And you try. 
you know, they say that you gotta grind on YouTube. Like, really? The same about sex here. Okay, pun intended. But yeah, that's why I've been feeling really discouraged because I'll be seeing these channels that grow so darn fast. And, you know, these are just some um, content that other people like. Especially, there's this one creepy channel that subscribed to me. I think they probably subscribed by accident. That's even more embarrassing. I hate when people do that. Um, basically that uploads videos of movie scenes of people getting stabbed, which I found really disturbing. And people actually kind of, you know, fetishizing over that. I'm surprised. And that channel probably got like 900 subscribers. And ugh, like, okay, a lot more courage on to actually post that. But especially their banner, it was disturbing. So I just want to share that and my bar is at 50%. I can't believe this. Now it's at 49%. My phone is not that good. So this is what I got to go through. But yeah, other than that, I just want to do like a little rant because honestly, YouTube is unfair. Like if you're starting off, my phone's going to die by the way. Honestly, it sucks. It does. This is why I can't really upload like long videos and whatnot without it turning off. Oh, I got to be careful. So let me actually plug this now. And... Basically, it's at 48% now. Jeez, I hit my phone. I just got myself a new battery, too. Well, I mean, like, Casey, she actually paid that for me, but... From our neighbors downstairs, but... Ugh, my phone is not that good right now. I don't know how long I can hold this up. So, other than that, I just want to share this because it's it's really hard to go on YouTube. It is. Honestly. I enjoy One Piece. I do. Like, I really like it to the, like... What Freddy said to the Water 7 arc, or even the Lobby's arc? I think that's what it's called? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but with my old MacBook, it's gonna take a long time when I get to that point, because... Honestly, one thing I should have said in the beginning, okay? Because that's why it's as hard when we see these large creators that get like... Basically 2 million views within like a day. It gets discouraging. You, you basically get barely 20 if you're lucky. And how they always have to promote and buy my merch and basically just make these atrocious thumbnails that are basically clickbait and telling people if you don't subscribe then your cat would die tonight. I don't know. It's just so darn dumb. Um, basically, what, what was it? What was that? What, what I wanted to say? Oh, Dion, you forgot, did you? I did. I don't remember. Oh, see, I'm so stressed that I, I, t I can't, I, I forget things. Wasn't wait. How's my phone? Forty-seven percent. Oh my glob. Um, this damn thing. I forgot what the heck I was. I wanted to say this really important. I hate that. Honestly, I this. Oh, probably got to something to the curtain. I tend to forget things because I'm like in a different part of the house. I forgot what I was supposed to say. I don't remember. Yeah, I forgot. I did. I just want. I just wanted to say that it just takes forever just to get these videos done, and basically, um, you know, with the One Piece episodes, it just it just takes time for me. That's why, you know, every time I actually had to upload something, my MacBook would get that annoying spinning wheel every time because it's that slow. So that's why, you know, I I get so stressed out because of how slow it is. I tend to take long breaks because I don't want to burn myself out. So, I just want to make a little update, because, honestly, I don't know what's going to be watching this, like, halfway, or even a quarter. Honestly, that's understandable. Um, I guess I, I guess thing you could say, the reason why people don't like me on YouTube is because, well, they tend to basically believe those rumors about me in the past. That's how I still act to this day, and they basically are obsessed with wanting to see me being miserable. When there are creators like the Paul Brothers, for example, that have done damage in the past. I know that's a long time ago, but it's amazing. This is how people tend to think, you know, if you're a celebrity, you rape like a 10-year-old girl, you're fine. Because you're a celebrity. It's, it's fucked up. If you actually ask me. But if you basically was to say that you accidentally said like a racial slur by mistake, right? You basically are seen as a criminal for life, or that people want you to actually have 10 years of prison. I don't know. It's, it's, life is really unfair. It is. Like, I'm not gonna middle. Life is unfair. And it is! Other than that, I'm gonna be uploading the, the, the next episode of One Piece. Well, I already got it. 
I think it was 217 done. So I'll definitely get that process um, right now. Unless I'm too tired. Because I'm, I hate the way my MacBook runs. And putting on my Switch while I wait, I guess. And I think that's it. And I hate hearing that darn sink. Just dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping. I hate that, honestly. 46%. I think that's everything I covered. But yeah, order not like in a total says. YouTube is unfair. <sighs>